whether you woke up with some aches and pains, just need a good stretch. We've got just the exercise for you, Jeff McDaniel with Fast Fit. Has the ultimate way to hit all the nagging spots. And he told me this beforehand, so I went and I, I got some stretchy pants. I had to change this now into stretchy pants because I don't want to rip my suit pants on live I mean, this TV. looks like someone's about to stretch, right? It looks like, oh, oh, these are, they stretch. So what are you going to do to me, buddy? <laughs> all right, so people always ask me, like, should I stretch before you work out, after workout? Typically, when you hear that word, you think about somebody grabbing right, right, this right, right, or coming yeah. over and yeah. putting this up on a uh, bench or box and do some kind of hamstring stretch. Yeah. Really, that kind of stationary static stretching is best done after the workout. Beforehand, you want to get into some of the dynamic stuff. You know, create blood flow, increase circulation, good joint positioning, mobility, and really kind of grease the groove for the workout. So today, I'm going to show you how to stretch in the 21st century with the world's greatest stretch. So it's going to be a series of kind of a fluid flow of movements yeah. right here. So we're going to get really wide. And by the way, if you're trying this at home, wider stance is going to be easier, especially if you have tight hips and hamstrings. And we're just going to hinge at the hips. And you may want to back up. You've got long legs here. We're going to take up this whole space. <laughs> no splits here. And then come down to the ground, try I, to maintain I, as, like, as flat a back as possible. Can't, that's good. We, we, is that good? We, we can't touch the floor, can we? I meant to bend the knees a little bit. Oh, okay. There you there go. go. Oh, there, oh, okay. there we come go. Come down. Now, <laughs> feel that stretch. We're going to walk it out okay. into a push-up hold. Now we're getting core and shoulders, mm -hmm. right? Now what we're going to do is push up and back into what's called a downward dog. Oh, yeah. Get that kind of, you can kind of uh, stretch at your calves, ankles here. Good stretch of the lower back. Now come back to that push-up hold. Step with your left foot. Okay, now hip stretch, groin, all that oh. stuff right there. And what I want you to do is I want you to hug that left knee and uh -huh. look over that left shoulder. Okay. It's going to get this outer hip, breathe it in right there, and then come back. And now from this position, let's kind of do a little reach uh -huh. and get into some shoulder, some a good chest stretch, thoracic mobility right here. <sighs> Feel Stop that? taking videos of this. Exactly. <laughs> Stop. And then come back. Then you're going to come back down. And you're going to push back up here oh, okay. and go back up into that downward dog. Now, you've got the perfect shoes to stretch with. They're going to, they're going to slide nice and easy. <laughs> and now we're going to come back, Rob. Now, do the same thing on the right side. So step right. Try to get the foot down. Good. You feel that? Uh -huh. oh, yeah, oh, believe, feel me, it, right? believe me, brother. I feel it. By the way, I, you're, right before your very eyes, I'm turning Rob from the tin man to the rubber band man. Oh, so my we're going to kind of hug this right knee, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, breathe it out. It feels good, right? And this yep. is great. You're talking about your back. This decompresses the spine here. <sighs> Breathe and then come back. And again, you can do a couple things. This is where you can customize it. Let's say you want to work more ankle calf mobility. Mm -hmm. You can spend some time right here getting good ankle range of motion. Or you can kind of push it out and work more groin, hip, yeah, if you want to that. do that. Yeah. You could also, if you want to work more thoracic, your upper mid-back, spend some time here reaching back and forth. I can do both sides. And then show off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I practiced beforehand. And then come back up here uh -huh. and then walk it back up. Okay, good. Because we're running out of time. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Oh. Now, that's one rep. All right. So oh. what you would want to do, you'd want to do three to five minutes of that. I mean, it's going to get you so lathered up and juicy. You're going to be ready to go explode in your workout or just get ready for the day. And one of the big key is this low-intensity stuff here keeps you in the fitness game, keeps you healthy, keeps you moving good, keeps you in the game. And I got up. And you Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Hey, good Cross job. That. You bet. Feels good, yeah. though, it does. Yeah, you feel amazing. Yeah, I don't know about that.